Harry to skip Hugh Grosvenor wedding to avoid William as he marks key milestone with Meghan. The Duke of Sussex is set to swerve the Duke of Westminster's wedding next month to avoid clashing with his brother the Prince of Wales, who is serving as an usher. Hugh Grosvenor, 33, will marry 31-year-old Olivia Henson at Chester Cathedral on 7 June in a 400-strong guest list celebration in what will be the society wedding of the year. One of Britain's youngest billionaires, Grosvenor is a godfather to Harry's firstborn child, Archie, who turned five earlier this month. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. However, according to recent reports, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not be attending the ceremony in a bid to avoid royal tensions overshadowing the day. The aristocrat is also godfather to William's son, Prince George and will include the Prince of Wales in his groom's party, the Sunday Times reports. The King, who is Grosvenor's godfather, and the Princess of Wales are also not expected to attend the wedding as they continue their respective cancer treatment. Meanwhile, the Sussexes have celebrated their sixth wedding anniversary together in LA just days after returning from Nigeria to promote the Invictus Games in Africa. The pair is said to have exchanged gifts made of iron, as is tradition. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have marked six years, since tying the knot at St. George's Chapel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal wedding, which took place at Windsor Castle on 19 May 2018, was watched by nearly 30 million people in the US. Leading up to the ceremony, there was much speculation over which fashion designer Meghan had tapped to create her custom gown. The Suits actor ultimately wore an elegant, off-the-shoulder dress designed by Claire Waite Keller for Givenchy as she walked down the aisle. However, according to royal biographer Ingrid Seward, the late Queen Elizabeth II thought that Meghan's wedding dress was too white for a divorcee. The book My Mother and I, which was released in October 2023, claimed that the late Queen only revealed her opinion to her closest confidants. The Queen's cousin Lady Elizabeth Anson, who is said to have been among those confidants, reportedly claimed the monarch thought that Meghan's dress was improper, considering she had been married prior to Prince Harry. In the monarch's view, it was not appropriate for a divorcee getting remarried in church to look quite so flamboyantly virginal, Seward wrote in an extract of the book obtained by the Daily Mail. Meghan was previously married to film producer Trevor Engelson, but they divorced four years before she married Harry in 2018. The Duchess wedding gown captivated audiences as she made her way into St. George's Chapel. Meghan reportedly chose Wait Keller, Givenchy's first female artistic director, to create her wedding dress due the designer's elegant aesthetic and relaxed demeanor. The gown featured a bateau neckline and five-meter-long veil, which was embroidered with flora from all 53 countries in the Commonwealth. Two of Meghan's favorite flowers were also added to the veil, the winter sweet flower, which grows in front of Nottingham Cottage where she and Prince Harry lived, and the California poppy from her home state in the U.S. The tiara worn by Meghan during the ceremony was loaned to her by the late Queen. The diamond bandeau of Queen Mary's tiara, which held the Duchess veil in place, was made in 1932 with a brooch at the center, created in 1893. In the six-part Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan, released in December 2022, Meghan said that she was very specific in her preferences for the dress. She opted for the bateau neckline because she had become known for wearing it while working as a senior member of the royal family. I had a very clear vision of what I wanted for the day, and what I wanted the dress to look like, and so what was amazing in working with Claire is that sometimes you'll find designers try to push you in a different direction, the Duchess said about the dress. But she just completely respected what I wanted to see for the day, and she wanted to bring that to life for me. So I knew at the onset I wanted a bateau neckline, I wanted a cropped sleeve, I wanted a very timeless, classic feeling, she said. Obviously with respect to the environment we were in in St. George's Chapel, being really modest in what it would look like, I knew that the tailoring was so key, 
because the dress itself would be so covered up. Meanwhile, Waite Keller reflected on designing the gown in the docuseries, noting that there was immense pressure to make her dress look flawless. Looking at the design of the dress, there were many conversations we had over how you want to present yourself to the world, she explained. The designer also hid several intricate details within the dress, including something blue sewn into the hem.